Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be walking you through different Kubernetes playgrounds that you can use for your preparation on CK, CKAD or CKS. Uh, also, I'll tell you a few options uh, to run Kubernetes locally and even on cloud. This video is brought to you by Suborbital, Armo, CloudCasa, Robusta, Sysdig, Slim AI and Teleport. So as you can see on screen, uh, you can run Kubernetes locally uh, using Docker desktop, microgates, Rancher desktop, Minikube, Kind, and they are maturing really fast. And you have uh, like Docker desktop support for Linux, which was recently announced. A Rancher desktop runs on M1 chips as well. So like they are progressing really fast and helps you in uh, doing your local development. I created a video on Rancher desktop, so you make sure you check that out. Uh, cloud virtual machines, meaning you have a VMs in cloud. Uh, where you can you know have a uh, few vms and you can have one as a control plane another as a, uh, as worker nodes you can use tools like kubeadm to inst self install the uh, kubernetes cluster or you can use the hosted offerings which are called managed kubernetes uh, like sibo kubernetes gke eks so here you can create the clusters you don't have to install anything they'll give you the kube config files or the way to connect to the kubernetes cluster and you can start using it once you provision using one of the providers in this video, the main aim is to show the playgrounds. So this is Kubernetes 1.23 with uh, Cryo as a container runtime. Uh, so this is my playground that I created so that you can prepare for uh, your certification or you can just, you know, simply type commands and uh, do some of the stuffs in the browser itself. So kubectl get nodes. So you can see it is ready and it is Cryo based. I can show you that kubectl run nginx image nginx meanwhile this is running there are few scenarios other scenarios which are there on my profile so you can you go to katakoda.com slash pathaksayam i'll put the link in the description of the video so the the playgrounds are kubernetes 1.22 with containerd kubernetes 1.23 with containerd kubernetes 1.23 with cryo uh, kubescape uh, latest version as well so I can create more scenarios. Just let me know in the comment section what interesting scenarios would be there that you'd be interested in. Also, like this gives you the benefits of slash etc slash Kubernetes manifest. So you can, you know, play around with the manifest files and uh, edit some of the options in Kube API server and, uh, and do some of the practice stuff with uh, Kubernetes for your CK, CKD or CKS. So if I go to kubectl get pods, I'll see if it's running kubectl describe pod and uh, you can see that it is container id is cryo so it's pretty interesting right and um, it's interesting playgrounds by killer coda although i i have all of my scenarios on killer coda as well but killer coda gives you the playgrounds which is updated again with uh, kubernetes latest version with respect to each exam so like if i go to cks and it gives it uh pretty fast so i start it i do kubectl get nodes it gives me a two node cluster. So that's very interesting. They are giving it for free. Make sure to check that out. I'll put that link in the description. So unfortunately, Katakoda is not uh, updating their images. Uh, so they are having uh, a Kubernetes playground, which is a two node similar to Killer Coda, but it is having 1.18 as a version. But uh, here we are, you have like latest Kubernetes versions. I'll be keep on updating that with different container runtime options so that you can mix, match, run, different scenarios, different pods for your preparation of exam or just like that, you want to play around with Kubernetes so you can use any of the scenarios which are there and uh, do let me know if any of uh, this scenario that you want to be created, just like Kubescape is there. It gives you the latest version of Kubescape installed onto a particular, uh, on just right in your web browser. Yeah, so it, it's, it's a pretty short video. Uh, I just wanted to cover how you can start using Kata Coda, My Scenarios or Killer Coda Playgrounds for your uh, preparation. So that's pretty much it for the video. So this video is brought to you by CloudCasa, which is a free Kubernetes backup and cloud migration uh, with cyber resilience as a service. Suborbital, which is making cloud native WebAssembly easy. They are the creators of Atmo, recently launched like uh, tons of great stuff. Check out the announcement. Armo, uh, that shows like uh, DevSecOps, DevOps as developers that every workload, cluster, container, microservices, uh, bond remains secure uh, from development to production. They are the creators of Kubescape. Slim AI giving developers the power to build better cloud native applications with less friction and complexity and waste. 
Robusta, which is an open source platform for Kubernetes troubleshooting and automation. Uh, it automates your incident response and troubleshooting with like just like Docker did to day one, Robusta is for day two. Sysdig is driving the standard for cloud native and container security. Uh, the company pioneered cloud native runtime threat detection and response by creating Falco and Sysdig as open source standards and uh, key building blocks of the Sysdig platform. And Teleport uh, empowers engineers to quickly and securely access any computing resource anywhere on the planet. The access plane allows engineers and security professionals to unify, secure access, and provide uh, visibility to infrastructure, applications, and data across all environments. And thanks to the uh, indiv individual sponsors as well. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it and you get new ways to try out Kubernetes in your browser. Uh, let me know again uh, what all scenarios you need. I'll be happy to create them. Uh, join the Discord channel. Uh, link is in the description. There's a, a student ambassador program which is going on. Um, that is there in my newsletter as well. So make sure you check that out. Uh, all the links are mentioned in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like the video uh, and uh, comment uh, if you need anything uh, with respect to the scenarios. And uh, yep, till then, see you next time.